Art Institute was founded really uh, with the mission of doing something big and different. So building large scale atlases uh, in a standardized way uh, really can make a unique contribution to the field. Uh, we started from the ground level, which is the gene expression level. Uh, the next stage is building a large scale connectional atlas Understanding the uh, connections um, between different brain regions and different types of neurons uh, is one of the few really critical steps towards the understanding of how brain computes information and uh, use that information to guide behavior. Basically our job is all about consistency and reproducibility. What we want to do is be able to find our landmarks in the skull of the mouse and be consistent about our targeting. We load the glass micropipette with a small amount of viral solution. We use this um, novel viral strategy using uh, viruses that express uh, f green fluorescent protein at very high level and we pass a small current through. This enables us to get small confined injections. And that virus infects uh, the cell in that region and express the green fluorescent proteins throughout uh, the entire path of the neurons. The work that we do uh, needs to be a very high quality and with very little damage to the tissue because the tissue site system is capable of reconstructing the brain in such beautiful ways. We want to make sure that that brain looks great when it gets to the tissue site system. Each whole brain is embedded into, into agarose and it cross-links with the brain to create a semi-solid matrix. The embedding protocol allows us to place mounted brain onto the slide and section it and image it at thinner slices. The vibratome comes in and sections the, the mounted brain at, at 100 microns. The laser then um, images the brain. Tissue site system enables us to collect 715 gigabytes of data from sectioning uh, one whole brain in, in 18.5 hours. So we section the whole brain uh, relatively fast the data is then transferred into limbs for processing and annotations. Once the data comes off the tissue site machine, um, it comes to the Canal View building where the data is transferred to our cluster in the basement. Um, it goes to centralized storage there and all the sections from up to six brains on each machine are processed automatically. Once stitching is complete, the uh, images come to the annotation group. The first step is to look at each of the sections in the image series and look for any of the various scanning artifacts. On this particular image series, the injection is in the cortex and I can see a small green dot on, uh, that spans five or six sections. So we pull up the section in Photoshop and then find a matched, matched atlas plate and then copy the data section paste it over the atlas plate. Once I get a good match, I can see that this injection has occurred over the dorsal anterior cingulate and the secondary motor cortex. Input the injection structures. My next step is to drop polygons over the injection site. And this allows uh, the segmentation algorithm to differentiate between injection site signal and projection signal. Once polygons are drawn, we'll click pass in limbs and the image series is sent to the website. not just images, you know, I think that's the, one of the most exciting things about the Allen Institute. Atlases is the informatics that, that goes on top of the data, because it allows for you to mine the data and to see the data in a framework that actually works better for your brain. Having a specific experiment will tell you something, but when you have hundreds of experiments together, it starts to tell you something about the brain that you would never be able to see from just looking at a single experiment. And I think that's one of the magical things, if, you, if I can use that word, about the Allen Institute products. Being able to 
access the data, you know, and have the data be presented in a way that's really useful for you as a scientist to use. You know, we, we really do produce useful public resources. I, I've had users tell me over and over again that they don't, there are experiments now that they don't have to do because all of the data is available for them and the way the tools are presented, it really is for them like a gift. It is a useful resource that will continue to be of use for you for years to come. So it's, it's going to be an ever-expanding body of work.